Hi, this is a quick overview video of HRE3D, version 3.0. You can download the latest version of this tool from our website, avizstudio.com, Tools, HRE3D section. Once you've downloaded the product, run the installer and follow the instructions. Here you can select what to install. We recommend to select both options. Next, select your 3DS Max root folder. Press install button and finish the installation. Then start or restart your 3DS Max. To start using a tree 3D tool, you'll have to create a shortcut or a UI button. To do that, go to Customize menu, Customize user interface. In keyboard section, select Category, Avis Studio Tools. Select HRE3D and assign the shortcut that you want to use. In Toolbars section, create a new toolbar. And enter a name for it. In this toolbar we are going to add all available options for a HRE3D. Select Avis Studio Tools category. And add the two HRE3D options. Now when the UI buttons are ready, we can start using the tool. Press HRE3D button to show HRE3D dialog window. We can resize it for multi or single column layout. Set the size and position that best fit your workflow. In the first rollout, build and preview you can select and load different trees from the list. You can also open, save and modify files and models. Press this button to preview the tree that is currently loaded. When we are in preview mode, to build the tree we have to press build tree button. To cancel the preview we can just press the preview button again. Let's preview our tree again and then build it. To build multiple trees you can use only the build tree button. Press it, and pick points. The first tree is the same as this one but the next trees will be generated randomly. This way you can have variety in your scenes. Let's delete these trees and move on. With open button you can open a tree 3D file. Open a file and add the content of file to the list. Open a file and load the first a tree 3D model from the file in the tool. With save button you can save the tree that you are working on to a file. Or add it to the list. Let's add it though the list. With the other save options, you can save all models from the list to a file. Or you can save only selected models of the list to a file. With option button you can rename reset or edit your models. This is the name of the model that you are currently editing. We can rename it. With the second option we can rename selected in the list model. If you are working on a model and you are not happy with changes. With the option button you can load last edited model and reset your changes. You can also load the last built tree, which in our case is the last randomly generated tree from before. You can load the default tree, or the startup tree, which is slightly different. With options button you can also remove, position, or load items from the list. Let's move selected tree to the top of the list. Let's also load last built tree. And let's load from selected all settings. Last operation is the same as double click on the name of the model. If we show the leaves of this tree. We can load the leaves parameters from another model. To reset these changes, double click in the first name. Finally, we'll cancel our preview and we'll remove the selected model from the list. Now let's continue with the 10 new examples that are coming with this version of HRE3D. Let's preview the first one.
To load it double click. And to build it press build tree button. You can use these examples right away or you can use them as a base and modify them and create new models. Let's build the next tree. Once in this mode you can build variations of the same tree or load other models from the list. This are our 10 examples, included with the script. I'm going to hide them and continue with the HRE3D interface. In the variations rollout you can control the randomness of the model. Next is color and filters rollout. We add one more row of filters for separating each element in the level into a single 3DS Max object. Before we continue with materials rollout, let me show you how to modify already built trees. When mesh is selected, go to Modify Panel, HRE 3D Rollout and press Modify button. You can also do this with Modify HRE 3D button that we've created. The result of both buttons is exactly the same. I'll show the trunk with Edit Filter button. And I'll go back to Materials Rollout. To add material, press the button and select one material from the dialog. To show this material press edit M filter button. The difference from the previous versions is that you can select multiple materials. We can add as many materials as we want. From the drop down menu you can change the material. Which is very helpful if you are working with different rendering engines. To delete a material, select it, and press the X button. Let's move on to the next rollout, Global Parameters. Here you can set Trunks Count, Branches Levels Count and Leaves Levels Count. All these settings are the same as in previous versions. Next rollout is, Level Parameters. Here you can control Position, Rotation, Scale, Radius and the shape of each level. Most of these parameters are the same as in previous versions. The three new parameters are explained in our previous HRE 3D quick preview video. Now let's continue with advanced parameters rollout. Here we can set volume constraint. What is different in the new version is that you can set different volume for each level. For example if we set this box as a constraint for the branches. When we built the tree, our branches are only inside the box. However the trunk is not constrained by the box. To fix this, press modify button and select the same box for the trunk level. Now we can make another box and use it as a constraint only for the leaves. Select the tree. Press the modify button. And pick the second box for the leaves level. As you can see, we have a lot more control over each level of the tree. All the other parameters are part of the pro version of the script. All parameters in advanced variations are also part of the pro version and will be shown in our next video. In last rollout, paint tools, we have two new parameters. 
With this new parameters you will have more control over the painted lines. If we paint the first level of the branches. We'll always use fixed amount of vertexes for the painted line. Now let's change the parameters and see the result. As you can see, we don't have 50 vertexes and each vertex is at minimum 10 units distance from the others. If we set minimum distance to 20, and paint the branch again we can see the result with even less vertexes. Let's build this tree. It's not the perfect tree but we can reset it from the option button in a tree 3D dialog. Hope you like this video. See you soon with new products and updates from Avis Studio Tools.